Today we're going to be taking a look at the subreddit r slash stupid food and deciding whether we would scran or pass this food. I paid $100 for this. What is that? I don't know. What, is that like a how to train your dragon thing? It looks like um, the dragon... That you, I'm sorry, I'm calling it BS. I think I'm too early, <laughs> too early in the video to say uh, not the abbreviated version. But I'm calling BS on this because there's no way you paid $100 for a small chicken. And what kind of restaurant just serves up a, ch a chicken? <laughs> like not the leg of a chicken, not even like disassembled, like a fully assembled chicken for $100. You did not pay $100 for that. I'm so sorry. It's clearly like a fast food type restaurant. Like there's like paper on the plate. Nowhere would charge $100 for that. Like, it's quite a cool presentation thing, but yeah, no. <laughs> No way sells that for a hundred dollars. Stop lying. You know what, Scran? It's, it's a chicken in it. It's just it's a chicken at the end of the day. It's not disgusting. The triple threat is a pepperoni, pizza slice, garlic knots, and calzone all in one. You know what? Hard Scran on that. I would be dying for about a day afterwards just from the sheer grease of that. Like you know when you eat a Domino's and you feel terrible for about twelve hours. It'd be like that times about two. But yeah, definitely Scran. If I had the opportunity, Scran. How to ruin a burger? So is that like fat or or something? Uh, I mean, it looks pretty good so far. Uh, is that onion? I can't tell. Is that cheese? Or, okay, that's cheese. That's fine. Uh, uh, pe uh, pickles. Hate pickles. Okay, that. You know what? That four cheese is elite. Like four cheeses mixed together. Was that three cheese? I don't know. Numerous cheeses mixed together into one. Oh, you cannot beat it. It is incredible. A four cheese pizza, despite its simplicity, is one of the best pizza choices in my opinion. Oh, okay. oh my god, no, he's not gonna do what I think he's gonna do, is he? He's not gonna pour the cheese over the burger. He's not gonna pour it over it. Yeah, that is how you ruin a burger. At first, I thought this post might be exaggerating a little bit. Maybe it doesn't ruin it if you put a bit too much cheese in the burger, but over it? Nah, the whole point of a burger is for it to be holdable. You're supposed to be able to hold a burger. You're gonna ruin it, no. Yeah, oh my god. He's... Uh, what is the point, man? Why don't you put it on the chips? It would go so good on the chips. Or oh, put some of it in the burger. Now you're going to have to eat the burger with a knife and fork like a freak. That doesn't even look good. That looks awful. <laughs> it's not even like an aesthetically pleasing thing. I thought it would all like gloop down and maybe look kind of, kind of cool. Like molten cheese spilling over the burger. But no, <laughs> it's just, it, it just looks like a baby's been sick on a burger. I paid $50 for this amazing performance. Uh, what? Is this one of those Salt Bay restaurants where they just sort of like make everything far more complex. <laughs> it's just spinning around that. I don't know what it is. Is that a bit of cheese? He's just spinning around that bit of cheese. What, what on earth? Was, what was the point in that? Just put it on the plate and then put the thing on top. Or better yet, have it come out already done. Like if you see your food coming out, you're thinking, oh yes, I'm going to be able to tuck into this in mere seconds. And then the dickhead starts fucking around with your food for five minutes. What's he... Yeah, what on earth is he doing? Every single Italian I pissed off in the okay. year 2023. What is, what's he dunked in that? I, I don't, okay, I don't, I st he's only showing what he's doing for about a second and not explaining it on screen most of the time. Okay, pouring water in a, yeah, no, he's, okay, that's staged. There's no way that guy over there is that nosy to be able to see exactly what he's doing from a distance. And they go, ah, staged, I'm calling. <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f I forgot to do scran or pass for all of these. Okay, right, going back. I, 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 no, I wouldn't scran that burger. I feel as though I would die. That um thing, I don't know what it is, but it does look kind of good. Yes, scran. This, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't scran or pass this one. Okay, this is another salt bay type fit. Yeah, it looks like the same sort of dish, except without cheese in the. Oh, he's gonna put the cheese in now. Yes, it's the same thing. It's Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> it's the guy from Ted. Yeah, this is just lame. Like, who came up with this choreography and thought, yeah, that looks sick. The customers are really going to enjoy this one. It's just, <laughs> just give them their food. Pasta carbonara from a one Michelin star restaurant. It comes in a cocktail shaker for some reason. 
Okay, right, that is that is a pathetic amount of pasta. That's about four forks full. Now, the thing with a lot of like these fancy restaurants is they're normally like, I don't know, like seven courses. So you'll get seven little plates that will fill you up. I hope this is the case because imagine, <laughs> imagine going on the menu going, oh, they have a carbonara here. I'm going to order a nice carbonara. <laughs> you get that. And realistically, there is a ceiling to how good pasta can be. Like if this is as expensive as I think it is, it's probably not going to be worth it. Although I must say handmade pasta is so much better than like what you get in supermarkets. When I went to Italy a year ago, I did I did a pasta making course where, where me and some other people, we, we made pasta by hand and it was sick. It's like night and day, it tastes so much better than just like, uh, I don't know, I guess cupboard pasta. But it does take an absolute age to make. But yeah, I would scram that. I wouldn't pay for it, but I would scram it. Okay, I mean, that's a bit excessive with the chocolate on the rim. Do you think they're gonna scrap the chocolate off the rim of the car? Okay, it's a bit heavy on it, isn't it? Like, what is this supposed to be? Is that blue food coloring? Sorry, what is this supposed to be? So far, it's just like, like, things that look quite strong. Like, you wouldn't be able to drink what is currently in there. I hope they fill it up with water or something. Glitter? What the fuck is this? It looks like a Harry Potter potion. Okay, and then they... Oh, red, red, why? Why does the milk have to be red? It looks like paint. That's disgraceful. That's awful. I hope whatever shop served this goes out of business. What? Uh, okay, that is that art is quite cool. But if you drink this, you are an absolute fiend. You're a gremlin. Yeah, what? Who would... <laughs> Who would, drink, who would see someone drinking this and go, yeah, I'll have what they're having. That's apparently a coffee. Nah, you're taking a piss. I would not scram that. Oh, look, it's my little, my little logo. It's, it's kind of angry instead of mine, which is happy. Usually I'm just lurking, but I felt like this needed to be shared. What is going on here? Maple blueberry beef patties. Blueberry flavored beef. What the f- What is going on? Two for five dollars? No, I don't know if this is like a butcher's or if this is like- Because I know that that isn't a normal price for two patties of beef. Actually, is that is that Canadian dollars? Australian dollars? American dollars? I don't know. If that's American dollars, that seems quite- Actually, to be fair, it is blueberry infused beef patties. So I would not scram those, no. What's the most expensive drink you got? A three gallon hurricane. How much is that? 275. 275? Let me you know what? For three gallons of alcohol. That's a lot of alcohol, isn't it? Like, if you go to a nightclub or something and you, you get a, a bottle of vodka, that's gonna cost you a few hundred. Like, uh, like, look at the size of that. Oh, look at that. Bar prices? That's pretty- Okay, oh, that's oh. quite a lot of ice. That, okay, right, the whole thing is- I Oh. Rum. Rum. Okay, only here. Is it a whole bottle of rum? Okay, it's a whole bottle <laughs> Who is drinking? I guess this needs to be shared between a very large group if they're pouring a whole- Drop. Another bottle! That's what I'm talking Two about. Two bottles. Oh, no, what's this? Three bottles. Yeah, this needs to be shared amongst a party of about 25 or everyone's getting alcohol poisoning. That whole thing, that's just pure yeah, spirit. Okay. okay, the cocktail mix. What flavor is this? This is passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit. Shout out to Drake. What? So it's two liters of rum, two liters of mix. Easy eat. So they're half and half. Actually, to be fair, there's a lot of ice in there. <laughs> the comically yeah, large yeah, straws. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to say not scran because if I say scran, I mean I would eat the whole thing or drink the whole thing. I'm not drinking that because uh, there is a 100% chance I would die. Although I must say, for a bar, decent value. I don't know. It's not a very practical drink, but it's a very large drink. Also, what did this guy do once he ordered this? <laughs> is he just going to put it all to waste? Because this is just one guy. I, I assume he hasn't turned up with an entourage of 40 people. <laughs> what is he doing with this? I ordered the best steak in the world for $100 and this is what I got. I hate to be, you know, a bit picky on this, but it's probably not the best steak in the world for $100. Probably a very good steak, but not the best in the world for $100. Like, there are steaks that go for thousands and thousands. Like the $100 Thank steak, probably, it's probably not the best in the world. You've probably been sold a lie. Thank you. Oh, my okay maybe for a hundred dollars for that much the good steak? it might be the best yeah. steak in the world wait where's, where's the rest <laughs> wait what you see this what where's the rest of it <laughs> <laughs> oh i love how they, how they gas it up with all the boys that i don't even know what that is, is that nitrogen what is it <laughs> <laughs> you get served that. Okay, I wouldn't buy it. I would scram it though. Spaghetti sandwich someone mistakenly posted on r slash food porn. That, you know what? That looks like it goes kind of hard. I live in England where we eat Heinz. <laughs> I put a picture of the Heinz, uh, the Heinz spaghetti here. We eat this. 
We, we eat this. I spoke with a friend of mine who's not from the UK about how much I love this spaghetti. He was like, there is something wrong with you. And I was like, it is a, it is a delicacy in this country. And he went, you lot are weird. But spaghetti in a toasty with cheese? Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Scran, hard scran. That's probably the best thing I've seen on here today. Never order gourmet pizza. Okay, let's put, uh, why is he putting another layer on top of it? Actually, two-layer pizza. You know what? Never heard of it, but that sounds like it could could go kind of hard. Why is he... Is there any need for that? Why has he pumped a load of air into it? What? Why is it... I guess because it's so high up that it's just burnt. And now he's setting on fire for some... Yeah, no, that looks awful. That looks absolutely... It's burnt. It's burnt. No, I would not scram that. Capri salad I purchased from a pizza place. I should have checked the review first. You have been scammed, my friend. I would still scram it. I wouldn't buy it, but it is just tomato, some cheese and spinach. Or something. I don't know what that is. That's very undercooked spinach if it is. Some leaves of some description. Yeah, I'd scram it. It's, it's simple, basic food. So she's rocked up with a bucket. Okay, right. This is... Is this some stupid gimmick restaurant <laughs> where they make you eat your food like pigs? It doesn't, I don't know. What is it? It looks like someone's just emptied a bin on the table. Not scram. I would not scram that. Salt Bay is officially out of ideas. Uh, this man rubs me the wrong way. He does. So we've got some avocado and he's pouring some kind of some cheese. He's probably just melting a load of cheese string or something. Are those burgers. Burgers and avocado doesn't seem like, or are those pears? No, that's avocado. It doesn't seem like they go together. Oh, is he just making avocado burgers? That looks terrible. Nah, because you can't you can't grip an avocado. It's just it just it turns to mush. That's terrible. Not scram. My son keeps losing all of his water bottles at school, so I got right. a water bottle that he will not forget. I'm gonna go ahead and in the shape of a handbag. I'm sure he loves you. This adorable glass purse water bottle. It's more like a water jug. You said it to me to school with a jug. Oh no. Off with some juice and some lemon. Kool-Aid. Then I go oh, in. Why is it with Americans and these syrup things? That's disgusting. Just give him, just give him a bowl of Evian or something. And, and I add watermelon and pineapple flavor. The color looked your, a little too- Your child is going to die early. <laughs> So I'm sorry to say, if you're giving your child this shit, they're going to be dead by 60. He will keep this on his desk throughout the day. Oh, and carry he has it. it on his desk. What is it? Is your son... Is your son... <laughs> oh, no, she means at school. I thought she meant like his <laughs> son who's like maybe like 18 and just stays at home playing video games. Now your son definitely gets bullied to fuck for that. To and from on the bus. That's a tr that's actually atrocious. I would probably drink it. It looks nice as a treat, but like some people genuinely drink all that. They can't have their drinks, even if it's just water without some weird syrupy shit in. A celebrity client wants a two thousand dollar pizza appetizer. For Did they specify that? They're like, I want a two thousand dollar pizza. That would be a very weird request to make. If I was organizing a party, I'd go. I want a pizza, please. I grabbed some organic figs, organic almonds, and sprouted gluten-free flour blends. Oh, that sounds already sounds lame as hell. Like two grand for for a fig pizza. Lovely. Two of the thirty dollar Erwan waters, and then some oils. So thirty? Did you just say thirty dollar water? And two of the thirty dollar Erwan waters. Thirty dollars for a bottle of water. So I mean. I don't necessarily feel bad for these rich people, but they're getting scammed. Like, if you're stupid enough to spend first, well, $60 on two bottles of water, you deserve it. I then get started on my pizza dough with beauty powder, collagen powder, Air One flowers, Air One olive oil, Air One $30 water, and I give it a mix and give it a knead and let that rest for about 30 minutes. I okay. then caramelize some figs with my organic oh, manuka honey shit. from New Zealand, Air One water, and fulvic drops. And while those are caramelizing, I get started on my dairy-free cheese, which is an almond ricotta with adaptogenic mushroom powders, new Nutritional yeast and it oh, is that so creamy. Ugh. Is that I your know cheese you're thinking, for the pizza? Every pizza needs a side of ranch, so I do a dairy-free cashew ranch and I mix in a ton of caviar. They don't have the okay, caviar, caviar spoon. Okay, don't you know, me. I can imagine that being okay. Hemp seed vegan pesto with microgreens and an almond milk ricotta and some tomatoes. This and when that comes grams. out of the oven, I add more of the super green pesto that has 24 karat gold flake in it and almond ricotta. Yeah, you. This is fucking 
trash. This cost two grand. Reduction and then top the pizza with even more 24 karat gold flakes. I can't get over how wanky that is. That's terrible. <laughs> I would not scratch. Cheese bomb bagel hack. Add your egg whites. Okay, let me hear that again. Cheese bomb bagel hack. Cheese bomb bagel hack. You've just put words together. Those don't mean anything. Do you mean recipe? What do you mean cheese bomb bagel hack? How is it a hack? You're making food. Add your egg whites. Add some mozzarella cheese and add your bagels now. Okay. Flip over and add your extra cheese. Why don't you add like actual cheese, not plastic cheese? That'll make it taste so much better. I, I I find the plastic cheese just makes everything taste like a McDonald's. Like, just cheap. Like, if you're gonna make home make something, you might as well, you know, do it proper. But anyway. Some sausage and a lipid. Yum. Look at okay, that. Okay, that does look kind no. of. Oh, oh, you ruined it. Uh, I was about to say scran, but that just looks like sick. No. We're not scran. Ordered Capri sandwich at an Italian restaurant at a five star resort in Mexico. What the fuck? <laughs> I would still eat it. That looks edible. It's just ridiculous presentation. Why, why is the bread like that? Uh, what? Wait. You're like you're gonna die young if you put that much butter in everything. Not even everything. Even if you have it as a treat, you're gonna die soon. How many sticks of butter is that? Maths, 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 maths. That's twelve. No, that was sixteen sticks of butter. Your arteries are so clogged already. I bet. More butter. Uh, is that whole uh, that whole tub is just butter? Uh, oh, that fucking sound that sent chills down my spine. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, you know what? You know what? Oh, is he doing a shot of butter? Yeah, you're gonna you are gonna be dead in five years, mate. I wouldn't do the shot of butter. I'd have the steak, very buttery steak, but you know, I I would have it. Scram. The upside down pizza is a thing, is it? Does it have to be? What's the point in that? Like, the whole point of a pizza is that the base holds all the ingredients. If you have it upside down, like, that defeats the point of it, and it makes it almost inedible. Like, it makes it very difficult to eat. Well, actually, you haven't done it properly, have you? You should put the, con the, the condiments on the bottom, then the cheese, then the sauce, and then the base, if you really want to do it upside down. Like, that's just pointless, isn't it? That's just pretentious pointless food. I'm angry at that. I'm, I am enraged watching this. I would not scram that. Making the favorite foods of dictators. Making them, that's an interesting series where you, where you just have Hitler's favorite breakfast. How interesting. The guy who looks like this thing from Mario. Benito Mussolini. <laughs> We're making murdering people. That was pretty close. Fun fact, his granddaughter was a pop star in Japan, which shows Mussolini was kawaii all along. Lastly, he was I mean, into Mu olive oil. Mussolini certainly wasn't kawaii. He would combine them to make a raw garlic salad. He would pair this with that olive wine every night. That is awful. Surprisingly, it tastes like he must have booty. fucking stank. Yeah, no, pass, pass on that. I love garlic. I love garlic as much as the next man, but no, no, not just garlic. Hey, Japan and Italy, greetings from Brazil. Is this, okay. <laughs> <laughs> pizza sushi fusion. You gotta stop. Oh, okay. That is creative with the crust. They've done like the uh, like a like a is that a seaweed roll type thing? That's really great. Pizza de sushi. Brasileiro não tem limite. A guerra com o Japão tá declarada. Fazer em casa. Se liga. I'm ashamed to admit it. It's not the medium that is you know typical for consuming sushi. But depois é só empanar e fritar na farinha de trigo com maisena. You know, it doesn't look bad at all. Crocante. A borda pode ser um uramaki sem cortar. You know what? It's not like they've just got like a base of pizza and put some sushi on it. They've done it, I want to say authentically, but they've done it with all the ingredients you would usually use for sushi. They've even got like a tempura base. That's incredible. Yeah, I like, okay, yeah, hard scran. That's, that looks pretty good. This is a key staple in children's birthday parties in Australia. Fairy bread, bread, butter, and sprinkles. Thought it belonged here, but it holds so much nostalgia for me. My childhood favorite. Why, why are you eating like you lot are still in prison? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just buttered bread with sprinkles. Okay, you know what? I would scram. That's fine. That's fine. Sorry, what? Everything okay, babe? You haven't touched your whole octopus entombed in gelatin. Nah, pass that. Pass on that. Awful. Like and subscribe or I'll force feed you a whole octopus entombed in gelatin. I'll do it. I'll do it. I swear.